Hey, hey, what is up, Andrew? It is YouTube here. We are back with another PayPal request. I'm gonna read out the message here. Hey, hey, what's up, Andrew Rooney? It's Paul Jeffries here, back with a final reaction. You son of a bitch. This time, a request for Jojo Mayer. I can't believe this artist hasn't been requested more on your channel. He's like the drummer's drummer. Incredible technique, hands or feet. An amazing clinician who has inspired many drummers around the world. Yep, I've seen him in clinic here in Auckland. The clip I have selected showcases his incredible technique, in particular the continuous quarter notes on the hi-hat, regardless of whatever rhythms are laid down across the kit. Talking dirty to me here. And he's got the link to the video. Your reactions to all my requests have been brilliant. And as a message to all those who view your channel, I would like to say subscribe and like without delay. There you go. Look out for more reaction requests from me in the summer. And in the meantime, drums and coffee, long may it continue. Regards, Paul Jeffrey. Cheers. I need to top up my coffee, guys. As Paul Jeffrey said, make sure you do subscribe. Hit that like button. Leave a comment with what you think of it. Well, after the video, not now, before you've watched it. You know what I mean, right? And of course, the original video link is in the description of each video. Do go along, support the artist, of course. Stick around to the end of this video. I have got a very special deal for you. But with that said, I'm going to top up my coffee and grab my headphones. I've got my DeLorean coffee. Yeah, we're good. Let's hit it. Some drum and bass madness, I'm assuming. <laughs> Come on. It's crescendos. Hold on. Wait a minute. Catch that stick on stick, but getting multiple hits, like obviously the sound of hitting the stick and then that stick rebounding off the head and bouncing back against the stick. Let's just catch that again. What an interesting lick and an interesting lick to try and control subdivision over. Check it out again. One thing to do that, uh, a trick might be, sound like derogatory term, I'll, I'll call it a lick, not a trick. But uh, it's one thing to play that and just be able to physically do that little lick. It's another thing to be able to control it and fit it into a subdivision that works with the song. Completely different things. If you think that's, if you can do that and you think it's easy, cool. Try and play it in a song as a fill. Not easy. Now it's coffee time. Listen to that groove. Damn. Come on, bass man. <laughs> oh my God. Basses out there, hit me up. What's going on here on the bass? We've got some kind of filter or uh, octave pedal or something. Got some real deep sub bass. If you are watching this and you're not familiar with Jojo Mayer, he's an absolute legend of drumming. And he built up basically a whole vocab around drum and bass, electronic type music, but with live instruments, as you can see. This is just so different hopefully you appreciate how unique this is and especially for how unique it was when he started doing this it's it's really is some groundbreaking stuff and it's i'm just so glad that someone who brought this kind of music into the drumming mainstream uh, to play it acoustically on an acoustic kit is just this technically adept and this advanced theoretically and just mechanically and technically it's just, I mean, one of the all-time greats right here. Look at those hands. How? It's 
quite a while ago. It looks very young. Just great hand technique. Look at it. Almost like Morse code, like that synth line that's going on and he's catching all those hits on the snare, comping style like a jazz player. Well, he is a jazz player, but this is a, it's improv, drum and bass, jazz, proggy, I don't know what it is. But listen out again for those sort of synth stabs and the way he picks them up on the snare, it's really cool. Yeah, I don't know if that's improv or not. They're just soloing and... This is a rave I could go to. Even now as an old man. Getting pretty out there now. Hey, ben, Peter, did you catch that? Little choke. Unbelievable. Oh, filthy. Moaning there? Oh. 
unbelievable. God. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> the band's just like, yeah, that's our drummer. Ronnie Mossiman, Takuya Nakamura, John Davis, Jojo Mayer. Thank you very much. Good night. Oh my lord, where do you even start trying to break down, discuss, analyze, have a chat about what we've just witnessed? I think one thing I would like to make straight right now is let's say just just a play devil's advocate let's say you didn't enjoy that video uh maybe the music is not your cup of tea oh i don't like electronic music and uh, it's just it's just not my thing oh you know everybody's out there thinking what the, the hell is he talking about let's, yeah let's let's say uh, it wasn't wasn't your cup of tea or a cup of coffee his dvd is essential for any drummer any tutor secret i don't want to get this wrong secret weapons for the modern drummer came out in 2007 and caused quite a stir there's some great playing in it often of him on just kick snare hats it is basically the bible along with great hands for a lifetime by tommy igo it is basically the bible for hand development on the drums it is very very in-depth so if you really want to dig into your hands it's a no-brainer go and grab it oh man i do get a little bit of a vinnie caliuta uh, just just an overall master kind of stream of consciousness improv yet in total control total headroom kind of vibe when it comes to jojo mayer and it's just amazing i mean he has essentially developed his own language on the drums you hear people say oh music's like a language drumming is like a language it's not like a language it is a language and you know we can learn theory we can learn to read music which is like basically like reading a book almost jojo mayer what he's playing there was no book for that he made it up basically he's basically made up his own vocab and language other people have gotten hip to it and you know other drummers did do incredible stuff as well with this kind of thing uh when this music started to become popular i think of guys like michael shack uh andy fissenden is another one over on aussie they are out there but the way jojo may have managed to break it down into little chunks and make it really sort of understandable I mean, it's complicated but it's understandable and he kind of approached it like a jazz independence system but for drum and bass it is absolutely fascinating the way if you ever do get a chance to see him break down what he does and the way he views it it is absolutely stunning i saw jojo may live in new zealand about i've got no idea 10 years ago 11 years ago and aside from the phenomenal plane and everybody just jaw on the ground i was selling his perfect balance pedals i picked up one of those jojo if you're watching i did buy one of those pedals i was the last person in line i can't remember what the deal was but i remember i had to sprint and find an atm and i sprinted back and i was the last person in line and jojo mayor signed my perfect balance pedal anyway 
I am all over the place. Christopher Shapir, what are you doing to me with your coffee? If you put something in this coffee. <laughs> but um, yeah, coming back to his clinic and, and aside from the phenomenal plane and the great anecdotes, I think the one thing that really stuck, stopped me in my seat and I think a few other people sort of, he said something. He said the following, and I've used this as advice for my students as well. You do not get good by practicing. You get good by playing. And it's something I've thought about a lot, and I've talked to other teachers and other great drummers about it and students about this, and you know, a bit of pushback might be, oh yeah, but you need to practice in order to play and of course, the two work hand in hand. Reading between the lines, I don't want to put words in someone like Jojo Mayer's mouth, but I think what he's saying is if you really want to get where you want to get to, you cannot theorize it too much. You cannot think about it too much. You cannot sit in a room on your own and try and do this thing. That's what she you said. need to actually do it. And I think he might have added in something along the lines of one practice session no sorry one gig is five practice sessions um i built now again i don't want to put words in jojo Mays, but it was something along those lines i would extend that further i would say for people who have never gigged be more like 10 practice sessions 20 practice sessions is is one gig at the gig you're under pressure and you have to perform and you just instantly raise your game and you start to get a new level of oh i'm not going to drop below that level because you have to get there when you have to do something you will end up doing we're very malleable human beings pressure creates diamonds and i think just that constant pushing that's kind of what he was getting at you got to get out there and play Ooh. Now with my rant out the way, Paul Jeffries, thank you so much for your continued support of the channel and this amazing pick. Guys, remember original video link in the description of the video, support the drummer. Guys, remember if you do enjoy this video, subscribe, like, leave a comment with what you thought of it and what I should check out in the future. If you would like to support my channel even further, I do have a Patreon, it's just $5 a month and you will get access to all the blocked videos. If you have a direct reaction request that you definitely want to get down on the channel, like Paul Jeffries today, then that is via the PayPal link. I do do, I do do? I do non PayPal requests as well when I can, but if people are going to help me out to keep the mics and the lights on, then yeah, you bet I'm going to do their requests quick smart. And finally, I said there was going to be an offer today, guys. You as a subscriber of my channel get access to a free 30 day trial over at Drumio. Learn from the world's best drummers over 6,000 drum transcriptions and just basically unlimited resources, more resources than you could ever use in your lifetime. Believe me, it is crazy. Absolutely phenomenal. It's always just such a treat to listen to Jojo Mayer at any time. Guys, take care out there. I'll catch you on the next one. Keep chopping wood. Ciao.